joystick while you're in here. These are the simulators. Okay, so the first thing you do is just pull the joystick or the throttle back. Uh, flash down, gear, make sure you stay on so you should get all mad normally. Okay. <laughs> but uh, engines are right here. So this is a little green light, engines. Just press them forward. You have to hold them forward for a couple seconds. All right, so they start up. Good to go. Last thing I need is my wheel brake. Wheel brake is right here. All right. Now I am. Okay. 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 This this simulator does not really. Don't go in three. So three's a little bit stuck, but we're okay. We may still be able to make it work. Because it has, does not like to slow down, so it's going to be hard for them. It's very kind of a crazy. Anyways, as you can see, I'm just moving. It's gracious. We are going to just. We're just going to let this go. We're going to switch to two. Um, we're just going to let it do its thing over there. It's something crazy. Alright, so once again, it's like an app on its own. Yeah, it's crazy. Alright, engine started up, wheel brake off, good to go. Alright, I kind of throttle up to usually about 40, 50. I just barely start moving, which is perfect. Alright, just turning with my uh, joystick over here. Once again, change your navigation to change into navigation mode. It's just this dinner plate. You press it to the left. You want to find um, navigation, ideally. Okay. But um, once we're here, okay, that is actually the other plane. You can see they're all linked up together, and you'll be able to see all the planes. Can you crash into each other? You can't. They took it off because kids really like doing that. I was just gonna but, say. Um, yes. So you can see all the planes. This is your airspeed over here, so you usually want to keep it around um, around 20. It's ideal. You so can go a little bit faster. You'll see just the two. What is For that? 20. Yes, yeah, so you'll just see the two, and you'll see like there's a little number normally changing. Keep it around in the 20s um, is good. But besides that, I didn't tell you guys. If for some reason you get in the screen like this, or it's kind of crazy, all you're going to do is press this black one. It's kind of right underneath this circular gray one. Plus, it's like a castle button. It's got little four things on it. Just press it straight up, and that will take you back to your heads-up display, your HUD. Um, see, this is, this is where I'll sneak. I'll sneak uh, onto the runway. We'll just get up real quick. But, um... Besides so that, it's just... You can see it's just kind of going back and forth. I'm just watching my speed. Um, slowing down if I need to. I can throttle back or I can just press in that wheel brake. It will just toggle it on and off. Um, if for any reason you get into autopilot, it says autopilot, underneath your red pickle button, there is a, kind of a turtle-ish, I don't know, a nice little button. You just press it to the left and that will turn off your autopilot. Besides that, this is the runway you can see, it almost looks like a road. You're just going to line up your kind of your circles with the end of the runway, full speed ahead. And here we go. My speed right here, I'm just waiting until it gets up to about 180. Oh goodness. Do not hit birds, you will you can actually hit birds. Which makes it kind of difficult to fly. But I'm at 180, so you can see I'm just gently pulling the back. All right, you can usually go up to about 10 or 15 All right, for a little bit. But now I'm up in the air flying. Put my gear up right here, flaps up, and I am good to fly. Once you kind of get a good speed, you can start working on your maneuvers. The idea is to kind of keep your artificial horizon in line. If you go up past it, it's kind of hard to see where you're at. So I like to always kind of have my artificial horizon near me. Um, when I'm turning, all you're going to be doing is kind of rolling so that this is almost perpendicular. And then once again, I just stay, I keep my true heading kind of right around that artificial horizon. So just maneuvering the stick that way. And you can switch to the other way. You can fly it nice and low. We don't run into buildings. You will crash. It's bad, Bob. 
and the FBI will be after Yeah, exactly. As I mentioned, if you see this little line right here, it is a stall line. This one, its sound is off, but the stall line, if you go past it, you're going to be slowing down. It's stalling, so you're not creating lift, so you are falling. You can see it right there. Okay. What's the chevrons? The um, chevrons are, uh, they take me to what I'm locked on to. Okay. So what I'm in right now is navigation mode, and then I lock on with my hockey stick, and they are showing me what I'm locked on to to kind of get myself there. So I'm locked on to the airport. Quick note, the airport lock-on is right in the middle of the airport. You don't want to land there. You can see the runways on the side. Okay, so that's where you want to go. You can see I am four miles out. So I'm going to do kind of a rush landing here. But I'm going to line myself up with this runway. I'm going to be dropping my speed. I put my gear down and my flaps down. Next thing, I'm just going to be working on getting my velocity vector on the runway. All right, and so coming down, speed's still a little high. Probably put up my speed brake. You shouldn't need your speed brake. Speed brake are only for only if you didn't prepare well enough, like me when I just kind of turned around. But you can see it's just kind of gentle movements back and forth. And then it's just going to be gently getting my nose up, holding that wheel brake. So I got to drop speed down, and then just. You can see you can land a little bit fast if you're if you're gentle enough. But the whole time I'm holding the wheel brake still on the ground, it'll help slow you down. You can power down your engines if you'd like as well. Um, that will slow you down. Put your nose down. That's pretty much it. Once you guys get inside the simulators, you'll see it a little bit easier, and we'll be around to help you out. So, kind of just kind of get in one, not number three. Number three. Let's do it its own thing. It is, it, it's the throttle just when, when ghost mode on it. But, uh, yeah, so hop in, pick one of these simulators. I wonder if seven is still the loud one.